Chapter 1 Return You are listening at FameTV.info Ah! Blake sat up, sweat dripping from his brow. He was slightly confused as to what was going on. He could have sworn he was just burnt to ash. So why was he, Mr. Harris, I do not mind if you do not wish to attend class or even sleep through it. It is your money, after all. But let me remind you that if you are going to disturb the class, you can get out. The man standing down by the large white board with many lines of text written on it yelled out, Blake, full name Blake Harris, stared blankly at the man with glasses. Professor Turner. I thought you died. I am alive and kicking, thank you very much. So please don backslash t curse me into my grave, Professor Turner replied while trying to suppress his anger. Now, please get out. Blake could only nod in confusion. He got up and looked down in front of him. He grabbed his laptop, phone, and keys and left, not caring for the books at all. He walked out of the class and stood in the hall, staring blankly ahead. What the hell is going on? Blake did not understand it. The world as he knew it had come to an end. A race of dragons called the Dragonic came out of a rift that appeared in the sky, and millions upon millions of dragons wreaked havoc over the world. Modern-day weapons did nothing to them. Even nuclear weapons were useless. But that was only the beginning. Humans and dragons continued to fight until the population was almost wiped out. But then the dragons opened more rifts and let in new races and monsters, which only brought more dangers to the human population. These new portals brought with them strange energy called mana that forcefully evolved humans allowing them to wield special powers. They started a new push to try to regain some land, and Blake was one of the soldiers who walked across this new battlefield. I could have sworn that we were fighting this humanoid dragon, and it used a city-scale magic attack. Blake held his head. He walked down the hall, trying to make sense of it all, magic was what humans gained the use of when mana spread across the world, forcefully evolving all humans. Although this process of evolution also killed a large chunk of the population as well. Some even turned into monsters, but those who survived were able to use magic to fight back. This chapter upload first at novelbin.net if you want to read more chapters, please visit novelnext com to experience faster update speed Blake returned to his small single room apartment. He put down his laptop and keys on a side table and fell flat onto the bed face first before reaching into his pocket and pulling out his phone. He looked at the date, and his eyes opened wide. It backslash s June 19th. A week. Wait, what if everything I experienced was just a dream? But no. I remember clearly the pain and suffering I went through. The feeling of losing my arm to one of those damn monsters. I can still remember that day as if it was yesterday. It bit my arm off and started eating it in front of me. Dragonic hounds, Dragonic hounds were just an evolved form of normal dogs. Many animals mutated after evolution becoming either monsters or what was called spirit animals. Spirit animals also played a major role in the battles. They contracted with humans and fought alongside them in hopes of turning the tide of war, Blake scratched his head in frustration, rolled over, and sat up. He got out of bed, got his keys and wallet, and walked out of the door. I will get some food and then head to that place, Blake was not sure if he was remembering things correctly or not, but after the dragons appeared and people were looking for ways to defeat them, someone found an old shrine deep in the woods where inscriptions were carved into the wall of an ancient cave. He had no idea what was there because the army quickly got involved and took over the site without giving any answers the forest in question was actually only an hour away by bike, just outside the city. It was a nature reserve that people could hike through. But normally closed at night. He was not sure of the exact location, but he knew it was deep in the forest that A.S. Blake walked down the streets, the bright lights of the neon signs and street lights shined down from above, giving him a nostalgic feeling. He wondered how long it had been since he last saw a city like this. He had lost track of all time after the dragons appeared. He had to struggle to survive. 
During those times, people backslash s hearts changed. He was forced to do many dirty deeds in order to get just a can of food. He not only had the blood of monsters and dragons on his hands but also humans, Blake stopped and looked at his reflection in the window of a small cafe. He wondered when it was the last time he actually saw a decent view of his reflection. He had blonde hair and a decent-looking face. His body was also not in bad shape, but he was always a loner. This was not by choice but because someone decided he did not need friends at college and spread rumors about him. And that person. Oh. If it isn backslash T Blake. Hey, give me some money. A voice came from behind him, causing Blake backslash S brow to furrow. He turned to see asshole number two, the man who stood next to the person who ruined his college life. Dylan Morgan, a rich prick who wanted to make Blake backslash S life a living hell. He spread rumors saying that he stole a ton of money and did jail time. Now no one dared talk to him in case he tried to steal from them. Why this was, Blake had no clue. He had never spoken to Dylan once in his life before Dylan decided to begin bothering him, but as for asshole number two, he was Daryl Palmer, a bastard who liked to talk with his fists rather than use words. Hey, shithead, did you hear me? I said, give me some money. Blake sighed. While he was still unsure if everything was real or not, he knew one thing. He had dealt with many people like this bastard in that unknown reality. And he still remembered how to fight very well. At least, he hoped. One, two. Five altogether. Blake mumbled. Should be doable. This chapter upload first at novelbin.net, huh? I didn't backslash T hear you. Come on, give me your wallet. I will take what I need. Daryl said with a smile. Ha, huh, Daryl, you know you will just take it all, who are you kidding? One of Daryl backslash S lackey backslash S yelled out with a chuckle. Yeah, Daryl, when have you ever not taken all his money? Hey, you guys. I am a very kind person. As long as I get what I want, I will not do much harm to him. Right, buddy dot. Daryl leaned towards Blake with his hands in his pocket. His arrogance on full display that IT was just that he never expected to see a fist come flying at his face, asterisk bam, asterisk Blake backslash S fist made solid contact with Daryl backslash S nose, causing blood to instantly splurt out all over the place. This was quickly followed up with a roundhouse kick to the head, sending Daryl straight to the ground. Blake did not hesitate as he took a step forward and kicked the closest of Daryl backslash S followers in the stomach, following it up with a knee to the face. He then pushed the man into the one behind him before sending out a punch to that follower backslash S face. What? It was only now that one of the final two followers reacted. The two men stared at Blake in disbelief. Shit, screw this. One of the followers yelled before he ran away, not willing to even step in for his friends, seeing this, Blake spat on the two followers next to him, who was knocked out on the ground, and looked at the last person standing. You want to continue? The man quickly shook his head. No dot and oh, no, I backslash am good. Then take this trash and tell Dylan he should wash his neck. Because I will be looking for him soon. Blake put his hands in his pocket and walked away. He decided since he had this second chance and his current abilities seemed to be the same as before, just much weaker, he would deal with the bastard who slandered him. In a week, the world will go to hell anyway. He can wait until the last moment before dealing with that bastard. He lost count of how many times he had been beaten up. How much of his hard-earned money had been stolen. The looks of disdain he had to suffer under. So much so that he had no choice but to lower his head. But now, Blake looked down at the blood that splattered on him and frowned. That bastard got blood all over me. I guess I will use what money I have left to go get some new clothes then some food before heading out to check that place. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.